Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Byredo Prismic Eyeshadow Palette. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. Today I'm going to be trying out the brand new Byredo Prismic Palette. This is it here. This is their first ever large pan palette. It has 18 shades and it is £77.96. US dollars. So it's definitely up there on the price scale. I'm hoping that by radio are actually going to give us the same quality as a Natasha Denona and a Pat McGrath and not just the same price. They say it is a limited edition palette. It's actually sold out on the by radio website in the US, but it is available via Selfridges and I will link that down below. So the new by radio Prismic palette is long lasting, easy to blend, lightweight texture, intense. And they say 18 shades, three different finishes, matte, metallic, and glittery. Spanning a rainbow of shades from grunge to glamour, each color is seen through distinctly different perspectives. A sparkly copper red, an ethereal shimmering lilac, a soft matte navy. Rather than being neatly arranged in a formulaic gradient, the set is presented as a disrupted series designed to provoke experimentation. In a lightweight and long-lasting texture, the highly buildable shades are designed to inspire instinctive application. So the way they've kind of laid out this palette is really random and just sporadic, and I guess they just want you to have fun with it and just be adventurous. So the packaging is gorgeous. On the front it says Byredo Prismic Palette. It's made in Italy. This is the packaging here. I really love that external packaging. I feel like it's really nice, very chic, very minimal. The palette itself is actually completely mirrored, so it does get quite fingerprinty and it's quite hard to show you guys, but it is a completely silver all the way around. On the front, it's got a picture of Isamaya French, who is the makeup artist who is kind of in charge of this Byredo makeup line. It's got like a really nice mixture of uh, shimmers and glitters and mattes as well. And you've got like really pale pastel lilacs, you've got yellows, pinks, blues and then you've got like a really primary red so it's really different it's really bold so i'm hoping that this is going to be good i'm going to do some swatches i'm just going to start the bottom row here they feel very creamy really nice actually so far so that is the bottom row the gold is very subtle you can't really see it it's basically my skin tone next in with the middle row So that is the second row here. Last thing I'm going to go in with the top row. That is a very Pat McGrath Mothership 5 colour. This is the entire palette swatched on my arm. I'm going to try and show you guys properly. Hopefully you can see them. It's quite hard to see and I ran out of arms <laughs> to go onto this arm. But I really, really like these shades. I don't know how they're going to work on my eye because with the last palette, the smaller five shadow palette, it did swatch really nicely. But then when it came to blending it out on my eye, it didn't look as good. But I'm quite hopeful about these. I feel like the colour palette, the colour story is really cool. I'm really drawn to this lilac -y blue section. I really like this gold shade. It's pretty much invisible but it's a really nice shimmer, really nice wash of colour, especially if you've got like a golden undertone or a deeper skin tone. I feel like that's a really nice colour. This pink is really punchy. The khaki is really nice. It kind of looks exactly the same as the other one. Let's see. So that's the five shadow palette one. It's a lot darker. I feel like the mattes will be really easy mattes to work with. These are really strong pigmented shades and I feel like you could do a really cool look with them as well. So I feel like there's a lot to love on this palette. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do what I normally do and try a different color story on each eye just because I just wanna try and show you guys as much of the palette as possible. So I'm gonna use eyeliners as bases. I've seen Nikki Makeup do blue eye 
makeup tutorials and she seemed to use a pencil first. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury just because it is very creamy. On my eyes, I've got the NARS eyeshadow primer in deep. I'm gonna use a bit of the blue, the really bold blue. There's definitely a lot of kickback, but I wasn't expecting there not to be. that's it so far I really like this shade it's really bright I want to try and incorporate some of the lilac this one here so that is it on I'm really liking this I don't know where on earth I would wear this but I really really like it It does up close still have that glittery feel that the other eyeshadow palette did but they blend into each other a lot better than they did in the five shadow palette. The colour story is just so much more interesting and vibrant as well so I really like this a lot. So for this side I'm going to try some of the pinkier reddier shades. I don't want to do it, I really like this, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to use the Victoria Beckham Brown Liner because that seems to be a good trick that I've picked up from Nikki Makeup. Thank you, Nikki Makeup. I'm going to go in with the pink first here. And with a bit of the red. got a really nice pigment to it. Next I'm going to go in with this pink. Just to, you know, give an ode to Pat, I'm going to use a bit of this Pat McGrath shade. That is the other side here. It's a very, very different type of eye. This is much more fiery. And I was really, really impressed with how these shadows worked and how especially the mattes worked as a base for these shimmers. the two looks guys I'm really impressed with this palette actually and I'm really glad I took a chance and gave them another go because I was not going to give them another go after that five shadow palette this five shadow palette I was not happy and I was never going to use a Byredo palette again but these are both really cool looks I really love this one and I feel like if I'd done the other eye it would have been really quite striking but I'm really glad I got to play with more of the palette and tried this fiery side as well. It's got such a strong pigment. It blended into itself really nicely. I did not have the same blending issues that I did with the five shadow palette and I feel like it looks really, really good. It looks a lot better, I think, than the five shadow palette one did. So that's good. Definitely feel like there's more room to play with these shadows and to do more things. I really liked the golds. I felt like they were very flattering on my skin tone. Really showed up even though they didn't swatch that bright they really showed up where they needed to and the all of the mattes that i used so far the pink one didn't really do much for me but i feel like the red really picked up the slack and i think if you have a fairer skin tone the pink will probably do for you what the red did for me the red was very grounding all of the shimmer shades that i've tried so far have been really nice they've been very, very pigmented very bold very bright 
but very easy to blend out and blend into itself. And all the glittery, toppery shades have been really easy to work with. They're very lightweight, but they are quite buildable. So I really like this. I was not expecting to like it this much. I'm really glad I took a chance. It is £77. It's not the cheapest eyeshadow palette, but when you put it alongside the Natasha Denona's and the Pat McGrath's, which is where it's kind of priced, I do feel like this one delivers a lot more than the five shadow palette does i would not if you're trying to save i would not bother buying the five shadow palette as a complete waste of money i would suggest just saving up and getting this one as opposed to the other one you still can see the glitter up close but it's not as harsh the glitters flatter the shadow that they're in as opposed to with the five shadow palette i felt like the glitters were fighting with the, the colors that they were in so it didn't really make much sense but this is really good this is really nice i'm really impressed with it let me know which side you prefer do you prefer the fire or do you prefer the eyes guys that is it that's my finished lip i'm gonna try and do a tuesday and a friday drop again see if i've got the energy in me see if i can do it again we will give it a good go but thank you guys so much for watching we got to a thousand subscribers guys i'm so so pleased i'm so so chuffed so thank you all for subscribing thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe we would love to have you in the slap family thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one